internet freedom is at an important crossroads. We are seeing more and more countries passing new laws. And unless those laws are positive, we're going to remain with the internet that is severely restricted. For that reason, it's extremely important that we act now, that we uh, help those countries that are currently considering legislation uh, to consider human rights, to consider important provisions that can protect our freedom of speech and to ingrain them uh, in their legal frameworks. Because otherwise, uh, the internet that we know right now, the internet that enables us to freely communicate might look completely different in the future for our children. Internet freedom has been on decline for four years in a row. Uh, one of the biggest threats is the fact that more and more countries are passing laws that severely repress freedom of expression online. What is particularly worrisome is that most countries did not have any laws regulating the internet until just recently. And now with these laws on the books, uh, we are seeing that things pertinent to human rights, to freedom of expression, to people's everyday lives are being censored on a daily basis. In countries like China, people do not have access to type of, types of information that can make a difference in life and death. For example, the, uh, the government is trying to censor the information relevant to pollution, to baby food, uh, and to, to things that uh, really make a huge impact. As a result of these new laws, we are seeing more and more people being arrested. So uh, as a result, some people are ending up in jail for 10 or more years just because they tweeted something or because they liked something on Facebook. One famous example was from uh, India, where a person was actually arrested just because she liked a friend's comment that was critical of the government's authorities. But what's really interesting is that unless there is a whistleblower, unless there is someone like Snowden, when it comes to surveillance, it's extremely difficult to uncover what the real situation is. So uh, in many cases or in many countries, we, we can have a suspicion. And because of the action of the government, we know that there, there is very little oversight over surveillance issues. But uh, again, knowing that the government can actually go behind the closed doors and that they can listen to uh, what we are saying online, that they can actually see every step that we make because of their GPS control over cell phones is extremely threatening. And this is particularly threatening in environments uh, where there is no judicial oversight, in environments uh, where uh, there are no free elections, in other words, in environments where the government is not accountable and where the government is purposefully targeting human rights activists and political opposition uh, with hopes to stay in power. Do you think um, we can see on the horizon something changing in a positive way? Uh, yes, uh, the picture is definitely not bleak. One of the things that we have recorded uh, in our research is that in many countries around the world, there is stronger and st stronger pushback by civil society, by activists, by everyday people uh, trying to change the policies and push their governments to do the right thing. Uh, I would say that in part that is because of the Snowden revelations in the United States. I think everyday citizens around the world are now more aware what the governments can do and they try to push their government to be more transparent and they try to push their government to limit uh, their surveillance practices. What we've seen are a number of examples uh, where, for example, in Brazil, uh, civil society activists, lawyers, and academics have uh, consulted with the government to create new laws, uh, so-called Marcos Civil Law, which actually has strong, uh, pri uh, strong privacy protections. We've seen steps like that in other places uh, in the world as well. Uh, however, that mov movement is still quite weak, and it is yet to be seen to which degree it's going to be successful in overturning this negative tide that we've recorded in recent years.